Hi guys, let's see how we can solve this particular question. So we've been given a particle which is in simple harmonic motion and uh, this particle has four joules as its kinetic energy as it passes through the mean position. So the only thing we've been given in this case is the mass which is uh, two kilograms as well as the amplitude which is one meter. So let's see how we can calculate the period. Okay, so for our question, we have been given the kinetic energy. So kinetic energy, in this case, we've been given four joules. We have also been given, uh, since the question says it passes through the mean position with a mass, so we have mass, which is uh, two kgs, two kilograms. Then we've also been given the amplitude A, which is one meter. Okay, so now how do we calculate uh, the time period? So we know that time period is given by 2 pi over omega. So this is the formula we're using to find the period. Now, so far what do we know? We know that we have been given kinetic energy. So kinetic energy, Ke, we know that kinetic energy is given by the formula half mv squared. But mass, we already have it, that's fine. Velocity, or the maximum velocity, is given by, so we can have it here, velocity maximum is given by amplitude multiplied by omega. So we have this as well. So here where is velocity, let's substitute this, so that we have kinetic energy is equals to half uh, m, the velocity is a multiplied by omega like that so this is as good as saying k is equals to ke is equals to half m a squared uh, times omega squared this is what we have so from everything that we have here we just want to find the value of omega so that we can go and replace it there hence we can find the period so to proceed from here we're going to say uh, we know what the kinetic energy is. The kinetic energy is 4. So here we have 4, which is equal to half. Our mass will be given 2. Multiplied by our amplitude is just 1. So it's a square. And everything is multiplying with omega squared. So from there, we can easily see that the 2 and these 2 will cancel. That is just 1. So 4 is equal to omega squared. So 4 is equal to omega squared. If we... To use a root to both sides, we can clearly see that the square root of 4 is equal to 2 rads per second. So our omega is 2. So since we have omega now, and we use that amplitude and mass, we can just substitute in that formula that we have there. So with that we say, period is given by 2 pi over omega, which is 2. So period will be equals to to be equal to just pi. And the value of pi, so the final expression for period, uh, will simply be 3.142 seconds. So there you have it. That's how we calculate the period for this particular question.